Lebanon will not be a transit route for militants and arms bound for Syria, nor will it allow hotbeds housing foreign-backed militants on Lebanese territory. These remarks were made by Lebanese President Michel Suleiman in response to an unprecedented warning by the Syrian Foreign Ministry saying that Syria cannot continue to stand and watch amid increased attacks launched from neighboring Lebanese territory. The Syrian Foreign Ministry had sent a memorandum to the Lebanese side calling for firm action against these armed groups, which it said had greatly increased cross-border attacks over the past few days. We have sent memorandums on a near daily basis to the Lebanese side over the past few days. There exist in Lebanon some areas which welcome and take in these armed terrorist groups and the groups are now expanding their activity and escalating their acts of violence and killing border guards. We have activity from foreign intelligence in Lebanon, in addition to the money which comes from some Arab countries. Extremist groups fighting alongside the Syrian opposition, like the Al-Nusra Front, are indeed believed to have now established a presence in Lebanon. A Lebanese court charged 10 people with being affiliated with extremist groups, including al-Nusra. Sheikh Omar Bakri is a prominent Salafist figure believed to have been in contact with al-Nusra. Personally, I would like to see the Muslims not only in Lebanon, in the entire regions are involving in jihad against the Syrian regimes and against their own governments. That's what I believe, to establish the caliphate, not to establish just really uh, some form of, uh, of control and autonomies in somewhere in Syria or in Lebanon. That is nonsense. One of those people charged was Shadi Molawi, a native from the northern Lebanese city of Tripoli, who was arrested and convicted of belonging to an extremist group and funneling arms to the Syrian opposition. Molawi, however, was released after just a few days. Here in the northern Lebanese city of Tripoli, one can clearly get a sense of an environment which is supportive of a Syrian opposition and extremist groups. At the same time, Tripoli was the biggest victim of violence as a result of a spillover from Syria. Hence, there is a fear that such a growing environment could lead to violence being transferred on the same scale from Syria into Lebanon. From the northern Lebanese city of Tripoli, Ali Risk, Press TV.